Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we have Assassin's Creed, small graphic novel that I found at the Dollar Tree. So pretty nice cover art here. I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed fan, but I thought it was pretty cool to see at the Dollar Tree. It's the only one they had, so I snagged it. Um, the story here is in the 14th century, Egypt, the assassin El Kakir, I don't know if I'm saying that right, is on the verge of returning the scepter of a set to his compatriots when he is joined on his quest by a mysterious and dangerous woman named Leela. So the cover here says this is named Leela, this book, maybe the series, I don't know. Seven centuries later, Jonathan Hawk fights to get his hands on the relic, leading to a deadly showdown between the assassins and the Templars. Witness the epic climax, the Assassin's Creed Egyptian Saga. So I guess this is the last one in the book. I read it. It's a decent story. Uh, the art in here isn't the best. It's okay. It's like a serviceable art, I would say. Uh, it has the glossiness of a graphic novel, of course. They're not bad for the price I paid. Uh, I'm not too disappointed. The story's okay. Not a huge fan of in the video games how they had the future or the current time in the timeline in the past. But it, I think it works a little bit more in this comic book. Um, you start out with the guy, I think Jonathan Hawk is the agent. Is betrayed by a girl. You're going to see some a lot of betrayal and backstabbing throughout the story. And a little bit of some action scenes here. But not bad for what I paid. You can find out at Dollar Tree. I think in your Assassin's Creed fan, I think you would like it. You probably pick it up, check it out. Uh, especially if you have, I guess, all six. I believe this is book six in the series of the saga. And then you can see the whole thing transpire. But even this book kind of sums up this whole story of what you would need to know. Uh, evil corporation doing bad things, trying to collect memories to find the relic. Then you go back and you find out some betrayal, like a with a prison escape from this girl in the sky. Well, not bad. I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, more than a dollar twenty-five, though I probably wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.